So the North Carolina Department of Revenue uh, moved the individual tax filing deadline to, to May to match up with what IRS did. Um, and so uh, through administrative rules, they can, they can move that deadline. They also waived any penalties that may incur for, for filing after the April 15th. Um, what was needed statutorily is the actual to be able to waive the interest. And so the North Carolina General Assembly has moved a bill. Um, the House has already passed it. The Senate has moved it through all of their committees, and, and currently it's scheduled for um, a vote on the Senate floor early this week. Um, and that will complete everything that's needed so that everybody's good, no penalties or interest will be incurred um, for filing in, in May instead of in April. So the North Carolina House uh, last week passed a bill that would allow for the deduction of expenses that were um, that a business paid for using PPP loan proceeds. Um, last year, the General Assembly and Congress uh, both allowed for businesses not to include the PPP um, loan proceeds in there as income. But what this does is make it so that in North Carolina, you, if you say you pay, make payroll and things like that, you're with those proceeds, you're also allowed to include those as and deduct those expenses. And that will match up with what Congress has, has allowed as well on the federal level. That bill now will go to the Senate. Um, so it's just passed the House. We have on multiple occasions talked about um, how North Carolina has used uh, money, the federal COVID relief money, to help local meat processors, livestock processors, um, e expand their businesses. And so what was proposed and what was actually passed the House Ag Committee last week um, was a bill that would extend that program, so continue to, to put forward some grant money to allow existing processors to expand, upgrade their equipment. But it would also create a program that would uh, allow for the planning and possibly even the construction of a new facility. So again, we're talking about smaller local processing, um, but, a, but a grant program that would allow uh, for a new facility to be built. So that, that bill passed the House Ag Committee and still has other committees to go through, uh, so it's still early in the process. So we have, we, we've talked on several occasions about the budget, you know, the appropriators are still working behind closed doors to, to determine what the, you know, agree between the House and the Senate on a sort of top line budget number. How much, is, how much are they going to agree to spend in, in the two-year budget? What we probably haven't talked about much yet is how much money is out there. It's a little different um, this year. Normally, you look at what you get an estimated number for tax revenue. So this is how much money the state's going to bring in. And so then that's what they'll, they'll decide how much of that to appropriate. Uh, because we didn't have a two-year budget um, in, in this last two-year cycle, there, there's a lot of money that actually was not appropriated. So that, that would be money that was brought in, that came into the state that was not appropriated because we worked off of a continuing resolution. Um, there's also some additional monies um, that were, uh, the estimate for that previous two year budget were off um, and we actually brought in more tax revenue than they estimated two years ago. And then there's also what they call reversions or money that just was not spent based on that last budget. So um, the state, likely has more than six billion dollars in what you'd call one-time funding so it, it's money that's that, that it was not accounted for in the last two-year budget but it's it's in it's part of the revenue um, it's not recurring it's not going to come back again likely but it's so you got over six billion dollars that the um, appropriators are have available um, for, for projects. They also could put that into savings reserve, rainy day fund, things like that. So it, th that amount of money is out there on top of just the regular tax collections uh, that's part of the normal budget process. Um, you also have, um, they've not appropriated any of the American Rescue Plan um, funding. That was sort of the, the latest round of COVID relief that came this coming from the federal government, um, and that's over that's uh, over $5 billion worth of one-time money 
that, that that's come to the state that still would have to be appropriated. Um, that funding has has some time. Uh, it doesn't have to be spent until tr the end of 2024. So that you're likely not to see all that appropriated all at once. But again, that's some um, additional budget dollars that are sitting out there for the appropriators to deal with. 